Well, hello, Lydia. Thank you so much for joining us on your real estate show. We've been watching your journey to award-winning success nationally. Congratulations Thank on you. that. We're going to be working with you this year as we work through and look through one of your award-winning homes at Hawley and also some of your projects that are in process. So we're really looking forward to that. But today we're talking interior top tips. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is the number one trend that you are forecasting this season? I think it's going to be neutral lux. That's, I think it's going to be really big in 2021. It's all about creating um, neutral, calming colour palettes. So starting with a base of your browns, your greys, your greyish, and then um, and pairing it with sort of more contrasting accents like your black and your white and, and even just touches of brass just to make it feel a little bit high end. Well, those photos that we're seeing of some of your current projects certainly look amazing. And it's really exciting, I think, to see that we're really getting a little bit back to nature. I think we all spent yeah. so much time at our homes during COVID and, and outdoors in our backyards. We're trying to bring that nature in, aren't we? And there's a lot more natural and, and timber going to be on display from what I can see. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, boho was so big in 2020 that it's it's now an, a, a progression of that um, moving into 2021. So using those earthy tones, really similar um, to the neutral luxe in terms of the colour palette, but it does have a bit more of a relaxed vibe to it, which I think will, will be really nice for that comforting, that cocooning feel within homes. And it's really nice. We're calling it earthy comfort. So lots mm. of timber through the bathrooms and, and living spaces yeah, as well, absolutely. which is exciting. And I guess those materials too, like even that distress timber stool like it's telling a story so we're sort of craving pieces that are starting to tell a bit more of a story which yep. is nice and I do love a little pop of color every now and then yep. I'm not I'm assuming it's not going to be red in 2021 what is going to be no. the, uh, the the big color of the year oh look Pantone um, have actually released their color of the year as um, illuminating yellow and the ultimate gray which so I, I'm, I'll be interested to see how much yellow comes through in interiors um, you know and I guess now that we're actually craving more of a holiday we're trying to create that holiday like feel at home yeah. um, I think we'll see a lot more of the yellow coming through and some of these nice blues as well they look really lovely and greys and um the uh, wallpaper, that's yeah. looking amazing on some of your projects. Absolutely. And I think because we have been cooped up for so long, we want that fun and playful element to our interiors. And, you know, I spoke with Natalie from Natalie and Polly the other day, and she's had a huge amount of sales in wallpaper because people want that little fun, playful um, element, I guess, to their homes. And I suppose it's something that's relatively cost effective. You can change quite yeah, regularly. Yeah, you can. It's not as hard as it used to be. People are terrified of wallpaper, but it is a lot easier now too. Yeah. So it's... Um, We've all got memories of having to scrape it yeah. off after failed efforts. Absolutely. So. Much, much easier now, which yeah. is really nice. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you very so. much for your top interior tips for 2021. We will get you back on the show and we're going to go out on location as well with you with some of your amazing projects. Great. So Thanks looking for forward. having me. Our absolute pleasure.